everyone, Dane Duffin, PJ Teaching Pro Else from Golf Club here. I just wanted to do a quick video on shot dispersion and how we can look at approach shots into the green. That'll hopefully help lower your scores and lower that handicap when we come out of lockdown. So let's get going. So we're going to talk approach shots. We're going to look at a 100 yard shot at my home course and it's just the first hole. I think before we go any further, it's important that we understand our golf clubs are not sniper rifles, they're shotguns. And we need to understand how we overlay that pattern on the hole in order to give us the best probable outcome that we can look for. So if we go into it, and I will just zoom in on the first green, take a screenshot, and we're away. Zoom in on this. Okay, so we're going to put this pin in a tough position. We're going to put it front right, which is cut tight to that bunker. It's worth noting that there is a bank here that runs this way, all sort of here. So if you do end up in this bunker, it's a very tough up and down. The likelihood that you're going to get up and down from here is very, very low. It's probably more likely as a club golfer, you're going to average three and a half shots from this position, I would say, or maybe even more. Um, you know, bunker plays are difficult in itself, but when we're faced with a bank as well, you're not going to be able to get this close. So what we're going to look at is if I were to uh, overlay a dispersion pattern with the middle of the green as my target, this green's 17 yards wide, so you're looking at um, about... 50 foot-ish, uh, maybe a bit more in them. So we'll have a little bit of the dispersion on the left-hand side and a little bit on the right. Seems big, but that, believe me, you know, everyone's hit those shots from 100 yards where it's missed left or missed right. You do have those in you, um, and it's important that you account for those. So I'll just put this in, and we've got, obviously, long left short right is what we would uh, what we'd be looking at so it works as a as an oblong rather than something like that if you pull it it's going to go a little bit further and then if you fan it open and hit that uh, that flare it's probably going to be a little bit shorter and you'll see here that we've actually got probably 90 percent of our balls in this dispersion circle are going to land on the putting surface you know there's a slight risk that will go in this right hand bunker but it's only 5%, you know, we're not nothing that we're really too worried about. If we go long left, we're in a position where we're not going to make more than three, hopefully. Um, you know, you're going to average less than you were in the bunker. And it's a relatively easy up and down, especially because we've got this bank behind the pin. If we now go and do what most people do and we look at aiming at the flag, everybody's guilty of it. You see the flag, you don't really think about it and you just hit your ball to the flag. Well, if we do that, I'll change this to red, and I sent, now centre my shot pattern over the, uh, over the pin. Not quite over it, but you get the gist. You see now how many balls would fall in this bunker or even behind it it's in a place where bogey avoidance is going to be at its um, most prevalent. You really are. If you if you put this here, the ball here, the chances are you're going to make bogey. Not by change, you've not changed shots. Literally all you've done is skew your shot pattern five yards to the right. It makes a massive, massive difference. So what we need to do as golfers, next time we play, when we get a chance after lockdown to get out there and have a game, we need to start thinking more conservative into the greens. You'll give yourself more looks at birdie and hopefully have less uh, less bogeys. That bogey avoidance we talked about, it's going to be much, much better. So next time you're out there and you see a tight pin, I want you to aim middle of the green and fire your shotgun at that and see what happens. I guarantee over a period of time, you'll be in for a net gain. Hopefully it's going to help. Like I say, aim away from the flags. Let's just use them as guides. And hopefully next time you're out there, this tip will help you.